Legendary Wheel of Fortune host Pat Sajak has announced his retirement from the show, ending a four-decade run on the classic game show. Fans of the longtime TV personality have expressed sadness that their favorite host won't be on their TVs every day, though they are taking solace in the fact that he's been a part of the TV landscape for so long. In this video, we'll take a look at his reasons for retiring as well as who might take over the job. And we'll look at his history on the show as well as his longtime cohort, Vanna White. Pat Sajak's Retirement For the past few years, retirement has been on Pat Sajak's mind. Partly because he's getting up there in years, the host is currently 76, and partly because it's something he's constantly been asked about recently. And up until now, he's been vague with his answers, saying only he wouldn't be hosting the show forever, and that at some point he'd call it a day. Like in 2021, when in an interview alongside Vanna White, he mused that they definitely wouldn't be there 10 years later in 2031. Vanna White agreed with that sentiment. So at the very least, fans all over knew this was coming at some point. In an announcement on his Twitter, Sajak wrote, quote, Well, the time has come. I've decided that our 41st season, which begins in September, will be my last. The tweet added, quote, It's been a wonderful ride, and I'll have more to say in the coming months. Many thanks to you all. If nothing else, it'll keep the clickbait sites busy. Naturally, social media has been buzzing about the news, with fans chiming in to share their appreciation for Sajak and what he's meant to the landscape of the game show in America, as well as his role in shaping popular culture over the years. And at the same time, there are many questions as to what the future holds for Wheel of Fortune. Suzanne Prett, the VP of Game Shows for Sony, confirmed that after Pat leaves, he'll continue on as a consultant for the show for three years. But obviously, that will be a role behind the scenes so they'll need to find a replacement for him as host beginning after next season. Pat's Career Pat was born October 26, 1946 in Chicago. His early life saw him develop an interest in broadcasting from a young age. While attending Columbia College, Chicago, he worked at a local radio station and gained valuable experience in the field. His passion for broadcasting led him to enlist in the U.S. Army, where he served as a disc jockey for the Armed Forces Radio in Vietnam. After his military service, Sajak's career in broadcasting began to take shape. He worked as a radio DJ and weatherman in Nashville, Tennessee, before his big break came in 1981 when he was selected to replace Chuck Woolery as the host of Wheel of Fortune. Sajak's charismatic personality, quick wit, and ability to connect with contestants and viewers endeared him to audiences, and he's remained the host of the show ever since. Sajak has become an integral part of the show's success. His friendly and engaging demeanor, along with his skill in keeping the game flowing smoothly, have contributed to its enduring popularity. His tenure has earned him numerous awards and accolades, including several daytime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Game Show Host. He's also made guest appearances on various TV shows and has served as a fill-in host for other game shows. He also hosted his own short-lived talk show, The Pat Sajak Show, which aired in the late 80s. Will Vanna Take Over? There has been some speculation that Vanna White might take the reins as host. After all, she knows the game about as well as anyone, having worked as Pat's co-host for 40 years as well. But at the same time, at 66 years old, she's potentially nearing retirement age as well. So it seems unlikely that the network would want to start a new era of hosting with someone who might be looking to leave pretty soon. Plus, she and Pat Sajak are so intertwined in the minds of the American public, it might be hard for some people to make the adjustment of only seeing Vanna. And yet, that was the case recently when Vanna hosted the show for a brief stint. Pat had to undergo surgery in 2019 and was unable to host during his recovery. So Vanna took over as host while he recuperated and she did an excellent job. Her charm and appeal are legendary, so it was no surprise that she was a capable host. So it remains to be seen whether she'll be strongly considered for the gig. She began her time on Wheel in 1982. As legend has it, it all started with the taping of an episode of a show called Dance Fever. Vanna appeared as a dancer on the show, which was produced by Merv Griffin, the same man who produced Wheel of Fortune. During production, the two were randomly introduced. Merv was so impressed by Vanna's charisma and her look, he called her not long afterwards and asked her if she wanted to audition for the role of co-host on Wheel of Fortune. 
Vanna jumped at the opportunity. The news came on Thanksgiving Day and Vanna was given the job by the end of the year. And although Vanna is certainly the most iconic letter turner to ever grace the show, she wasn't the first. Susan Stafford fulfilled the role before Vanna was given her co-hosting job in 1982. Reportedly, Susan despised the position, feeling it was below her. Vanna, on the other hand, was incredibly grateful to take her place. Pat's daughter, Maggie Sajak There has been a lot of speculation in recent years that Maggie Sajak, Pat's daughter, might be in line to take over hosting duties for Wheel of Fortune. After seeing a clip of Pat and Maggie bantering during a Wheel of Fortune trivia segment, viewers began to suspect that 28-year-old Maggie may very well be next in line. Maggie Marie Sajak has spent the majority of her adult life performing as a country music singer. Her musical style has been compared to artists like Jewel and Michelle Branch, although you can distinctly hear influences from country stars like Carrie Underwood and Sheryl Crow. She was born in 1995 and grew up in Severna Park, Maryland. At age 12, she picked up the guitar and started taking lessons. She released her first single, First Kiss, in 2011. The next year, the music video for it, which was directed by the award-winning director Trey Fanjoy, was featured on an episode of Wheel of Fortune to mark Maggie's 17th birthday. Maggie went on to record several other singles, one of which was featured in the season finale of the series Sweet Home Alabama. In 2013, while in her freshman year at Princeton, Maggie did a fashion shoot for Teen Vogue. Flash forward to January 2020, she first appeared on Wheel of Fortune, filling in for Vanna White as a letter-turner for a week while White was hosting in place of Pat, who was recovering from that surgery. Then in 2021, Maggie officially joined the Wheel of Fortune team as a social media correspondent. Will Maggie take over as host? Fans of the game show have focused on Pat's recent remarks about Maggie's hosting skills. In a clip from the Holiday Trivia with Pat and Vanna special, which aired in December 2022, Maggie took over as host while quizzing Pat and Vanna with some festive holiday-related questions. After putting their knowledge to the test with prompts about Santa Claus's various nicknames and other bits of Yuletide trivia, Maggie received high praise from her father. At the end of the episode, Pat reflected on his daughter's hosting chops while telling her she was, quote, actually a good host. His seemingly innocuous remark renewed intense speculation that Maggie was being groomed to take over. Fans online have also speculated about the potential for Maggie instead taking over Vanna White's letter-turning duties. After Maggie joined the Wheel family in 2021 as a social media correspondent, she made several appearances both on stage and in behind-the-scenes clips. As of yet, she hasn't been given any substantial duties outside of presumably managing TikTok and Instagram accounts. Still, some fans believe her role on the show, albeit minor, is a path towards her eventually hosting the program. Of course, with the focus these days on so-called Nepo babies, there will be some inevitable backlash if the show does indeed decide to include Maggie as either a letter-turner or as the primary host. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Pat Sajak's time as host of Wheel of Fortune? Who do you think should be the next host? Let us know in the comments section below.